Yo guys, today I'm going to talk about 5 things that I love about my BMW 1 Series which I already own for more than 10 months and by now I've driven 18,000 kilometers with it. So yeah, um, I had my fair share and time and kilometers with this car so I can know perfectly what the things that I love and hate about this one. I already made the 5 things I hate about this car and now I'm going to make 5 things I love about this car. First of all, I really love the design of this car. I think this car's design aged very well. The car is made in 2004 until 2012, I think. So the car has been made eight years, which is pretty damn long. And you can see, you still see this car driving quite a lot on the road because the design is, has aged so well. The car is very popular on the second hand, second hand market for young people because the older cars are becoming 13, 14 years old and they are becoming pretty damn cheap. And that's why they're very popular from the younger people. They're affordable, good cars and they're BMW. And some people just want to brag that they have a BMW. That's not the reason I bought a BMW, but you know, it's always a bonus. You can say you drive a BMW over, let's say a Honda or a Citroen or an Opel or something like that. So yeah. Um, I think the design is very sportive, you know, with sport rims under it. I think it looks just very, very neat. And even when it's an older car, it still has something, you know, it, the car has something. You love it or you hate it, but I love it. This is my favorite uh, hatchback from the old era. Now I think the Audi RS3 looks better than the current one series, to be honest with you. Um, but back then that wasn't the case. So this car really is one of my favorite hatchbacks from back then Then the second thing I love about this car is actually the sound This car is only a 1.6 petrol with 115 horsepower It's nothing special and I sure know the sound is also nothing super special But what is really special is the fact that people all my friends a lot of them They were driving in my car with me and I floored it and I was in the five six thousand rpm range and they asked me damn your car sounds nice did you do something to the exhaust and I said no it's it's a stock it's stock it comes like this it's a stock exhaust and they were like what I said that's because it's a BMW right I said I think so because the car sounds so sportive also in the school um, I drove uh, with my car to the school and they said, your car sounds really sportive, man. It sounds nice. And I said, you yeah, know, thank you. It, it's just a stock one. So that's what I like about this. Even the one, the lowest end BMW 1 series still sounds pretty damn nice. And also when I floor it, people around, they look at me and they look a little bit angry. Even when I'm not going that fast. So that means my car makes noise. And I enjoy that. And also I'm going to do an exhaust on this one. But after uh, I go to my yearly exp inspection because it's in one month and two weeks not three weeks and I have to go to my yearly ex inspection and when I have a muffler delete I'm not gonna pass so I'm going to wait after it because it's a little bit stupid to install it in front uh, of the inspection but yeah um, the third thing I love about this car is the performance and I'm not gonna say the performance is out of this world not by f not by far, it's actually a slow car, but still, for what you get, the car handles it very well. This car has a top speed of 200 km an hour, it drives it so smooth, no problem at all. And not a lot of cars with this engine or horsepower, they, they reach 190, but not 200. But this car does it, and I tested it, and it does it for real. GPS is 196. And it's because I have wider tires, so this car would do 200 on the GPS. So yeah, I think for what you get, this car is pretty damn nice. And also because of the rider Pirelli's in the rear, I can launch pretty damn hard. I do it normally in 11 seconds, I can get it 10 flat. So it's, it's 0 one seconds just because of the tires. And yeah, I think the performance for what you get, the car shifts pretty damn nice. It sits good. It's a... The car has great performance for what you pay, for what you have. I mean, sure, a Golf GTI or a higher-powered car will fuck this car anyway, but for what you have. But another 10 cars with 115 horsepower next to this one, 
and I think this one will be one of the fastest. Now the third thing I love about this car is the handling. This car can take corners so damn fast. I've never driven a car which handles like this in a corner. It, I know it's because of the tires and I lowered the car, that helps a lot. But still, it just those small upgrades make such a big difference. This chassis is so well balanced, I can drive so damn fast. I can do corners which you normally do 70, I can take them at 160 km an hour and still be fine. The only problem is I'm not going faster is because this engine won't let me go faster. I really think this car is a beast and I, I've tested it. I kept up with much higher horsepower cars, a BMW M4, Audi TTS, Call of GTI Club Sport. And I know when you have drivers, which them would really take the full potential out of that car, they would leave me alone. But I kept up with those guys and they were flooring it. So yeah, this car handling, it's something to consider about because it's like a Toyota GD86. Sure, that's faster and maybe also handles better, but this car handles so well. It's it just, it's out of this world. It, it, it really is for what you, I didn't expect this. And also my friends and also the brakes. I do 200, I brake and the car stops so damn fast. Uh, there was a guy behind me racing and there was a red light and we were doing 180 and there was a light and there was you know a speed camera and I, I smashed the brakes and I was stopped in front he couldn't stop he passed it boom he got a speed ticket I didn't and he had a sports version of a Scirocco R but my brakes were faster better I stopped faster so this car handles so damn well and also he couldn't keep up with me in the corners so yeah like I said this car handles so damn well well the fifth thing I actually like about this car is actually the standard speakers on the Peugeot the speakers are shit and that's going to be one of the topics uh, I'm going to make a five things I hate video about that car also but you know one of those things um, that I really love about this one is the speaker setup it's a stock setup it's not a higher end volume but for what for a stock setup it sounds so damn nice the bass is very deep, it has even in your seats, so when you have uh, a song with a lot of bass, you can really feel a vibration in your back, and that's just so damn nice. I really, you know, I really th think that's pretty epic, and I've seen much more expensive cars, which more expensive sound systems, which sound the same as this one, or not even as good. So yeah, like I said, you know, what you get is what you pay. And this car, I did, I paid 8,000 euros, but I think it's worth every every single euro because this car is damn good. And also, just a little bit, a little bonus, the heated seats on this car. What the fuck? I mean, they can fry an egg. They are so damn hot. It's just an extra bonus. In the summer, I don't use them. But in the winter, when it's minus five, and it's freezing. I get in my car. I, I always uh, pull off my jacket because I can't drive like this. And then I just turn on the heated seats. In two minutes, they're warmed up. And I'm just sitting there outside. It's freezing in my T-shirt, driving with heated seats and a little bit of the heat. Uh, and it's, it's just so nice. So yeah, actually, there are six things already I like and there are much m more things I like about this car but they're just small and for some people not important so I'm not going to talk about them. So yeah, anyway, uh, this was it for today's video guys. I hope you guys liked my video of the five things I love about this car and if you do, please leave a like and please subscribe. See you guys, bye!